the entire function of Julie Locates is based on communication. Uh, excavators need to dig and they need to know where buried utilities are placed so that they can avoid damaging them. Uh, the entire process is based on communication. And in addition to the placement of the utility lines that excavators are gonna find when they come out on site, there's a lot of other factors they might need to be aware of, uh, whether it's particular hazards on the job site or difficult to locate facilities that we might not be 100% sure of, or maybe situations where we have to paint in tall grass and we, we can anticipate that a grass mowing company is gonna come out and cut the grass. There's a lot of delays that can be avoided if we have good communication about what to expect. How are you doing, Mike? You're doing good. Hi, right, Mike. Michael, nice to meet you. Mike, Mike, I'm Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. All right, so I uh, just want to talk to you guys about the project, the uh, bore that you guys are doing here. Okay. Uh, it says that you guys are going from the center line of Evergreen going down a thousand foot, one right of way. Uh, could you tell me which right of way you guys are going on? So let me confirm the ticket number first. Okay. I'm at ticket A00265184. Correct. Okay. Expiration date, October 18th. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, just want to know when, uh, when you guys are, like which uh, section are you guys going to be starting on? Is it going to be the north or south section? South section. South section. About how many feet a day can you guys uh, go through? Uh, 500. Yeah, I think 500 would be a, a reasonable estimate, yes. Yeah, so if you give us a buffer of, what, what can you give us on that? For uh, just getting ahead of us. I'll, I, if I can give you guys about 1,500 to, uh, to okay. start for the next two days. All right. And then just give you guys about 250 every day after that. All right. So you're going to stay 250 to 500 feet ahead of us. Yes. That's acceptable. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll fill out the electronic alert, uh, locating agreement. You guys will also get a copy. Okay. I just need to make sure I can get a photo of you guys uh, filling out your section. Okay. So that way there's no mumbo jumbo, no questions asked. You were here doing your thing. If they get more than uh, they expect to because the ground's in good order, just yeah. call you just and get call, ahead of it. Just call me. I will get uh, try to get more people out here so okay. that way I can get you guys more footage, uh, more footage that you guys can burn through it. Awesome. Okay. Just and Mike, could we also confirm uh, listed on this ticket is AT&T Distribution, ComEd, Aqua, Illinois, Comcast, Mantino Township, Mantino Village, NICOR, and USIC Locating Service. So uh, for me, I only locate with the USIC Locating Service. So with those other utilities, I'm not sure of but I can uh, guarantee with Aqua Illinois, AT&T, ComEd, Comcast, and NICOR. Okay. All, all the others, you have to get individual, or the municipalities or other pipelines, whoever owns those to get in touch with you. Okay, good. Our locator, John, will be out on day three after the locate's clear for you, verifying that you guys uh, got everything and got everything marked, and he goes over the whole job. So if you're gonna do 1,500 a day, uh, then he'll be doing that same bout. Okay, just have him call me if there's any questions, so that way we can work together and get you guys this job done. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Sounds All good. Right. Yeah. Appreciate the Thank cooperation. You. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank Mike. you guys. All right, Mike, we finished up this locate. What do we got? So we got an AT&T duct. There's a bunch of just random Comcast lines. Uh, I had to get in touch with John Burns Construction to make sure that they understood that a lot of these lines aren't on the prints and there's a lot of old abandoned stuff. So to call me every time that they find something, I'll try to come out to verify and get in touch with our Comcast contact. Um, NICOR was giving me a little difficulty. I had to call on a DTL, a difficult to locate. So NICOR has come out, they have verified the main and marked the main. So John Burns has found it and we're all good there. Uh, ComEd all, was all clear. We were able to locate it out, there's no issues. Went to all the access points, took a little bit longer than expected to make sure we found every line, but we're good there. Um, we had to get in touch with Aqua to figure out whose sewers were whose because there's old stuff, there's just manhole covers that don't exist anywhere on the prints. So they've come out, I've worked with their locator, and he's showed me what's theirs and what's not. So we should be all good. Uh, I do need help though. They okay. are going to be requiring uh, remarks. Can you uh, give me maybe two guys for three hours 
for the next week, just three hours a day. That way we can keep up with them and give them the footage they need. We should be able to work with that, but did you let uh, the contractor know about all the high profile facilities, including that duct, and that we're gonna have to take some extra steps to get into it and let them know about that DTL? I did. I made sure the contractor knew that he had to give me access uh, since we have to close down a lane of the road. He had to get the permits through the, uh, the city and the DOT to close down that road so that way I can get in the manhole safely. Uh, he also knows about the high profile uh, NICOR so that way he has to have uh, work with the NICOR watch protect folks. So he should be good. Okay, and did they say when they were gonna start? Uh, they said they should start within the next three days as long as weather permits. And based on the footage they gave you, you're figuring about three people for a couple hours a day? That should be good for us. All right, excellent. Was there anything else odd about the locate that they need to know or I need to know? Uh, nothing that I could uh, see, foresee. Uh, I did see some mowers out, but the guys doing the lawn care said they would hold off for a few days, but that's a 50-50 if they'll actually pay attention. Okay, make sure that uh, before the date and time that they're gonna start, swing by here, double check, and if it got mowed, let them know that you have to kind of freshen up the marks a little bit. We wanna make sure that the excavators are digging on the freshest marks possible. Will do. All right, thanks, good job, and uh, let me know if you need anything else. Thanks, we will do, Sean.